Have you ever thought about what Mary went through? I'm talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus. She was a young woman whose life was planned for her. Her culture dictated that she had to be married at a certain age and she had to be married to a certain kind of man. All of these things were worked out. She was looking forward to it, very close to getting married. But then she was visited by an angel who said she had been favored of God and it was time for her to do something seemingly impossible, almost something that had never been done before. And she asked, how will this happen? The angel assured her that with God, nothing is impossible. Now Mary agreed to do it. It was a very tough proposition that was presented to her, but she agreed to do it promptly and very affirmatively. Be it unto me according to the word of the Lord, so she said. And then she went on. Rather than blab about it to people her age and brag that she was the only girl favored among millions of women that had gone across 42 generations, hoping to be the mother of the Messiah. She did not brag about it. She did not go on WhatsApp or Twitter or on Facebook, just telling the whole world, look at me, I am favored of the Lord. She went on to look for an older, wiser and godly mentor who could help her. And her life was not easy because agreeing to be the vessel of God was not easy for her. But God has promised that no matter how difficult, He will be with us. When He calls us to do something, sometimes that calling is the avenue through which He reveals to us the deeper purpose of our lives. What is God calling you to do today? What seemingly impossible assignment has He placed before you that you just need to agree to? If you, like Mary, can say, yes, Lord, be it unto me according to your word. I will do what you want me to do. Perhaps you would also be blessed as Mary was blessed. Find your purpose and leave it today.